Hi, this is the tutorial for a rewards calculator. Um, so I'll start right into it. You got you got different tabs here to, to change values in. Anything in green you can change. Anything in red is the is the value that actually be used. So if you put something wrong in the green, you can tell just compare it to the red. Make sure they're the same. Otherwise, change the one in the green to uh, the correct value. Um, so your detail, I'm gonna make. Uh, Payout Manager, this will show you all your values today, in the past, and in the future down to you know a bunch of years, two and a half, three years down the line. And then you got your affiliates you sign up. You can put in their their uh, their sign up level and the date they signed up, and it'll kind of automatically calculate the commission you make every month based on that. And then you got your purchase bids. So you don't want to put any bids purchased by you or your affiliates in here. To have it put into the payout manager automatically, um, ten thousand is the max. So, in purchase bids, when you put a date of purchase, it has to be after the the initial date in the your details tab. So, if this is before five eight two thousand twelve, is before this begin date here, or on the same if it's before it, it won't get calculated in the payout manager. It'll kind of be null. So make sure those, make sure the purchase bids dates are at, on the same day or after the initial day in this your details tab on the begin date. Otherwise, it won't calculate in there, and then it'll mess up your figures, and you'll think something wrong, but it ain't wrong. You're just putting the wrong numbers. So that being said, in the your details page, you got these different values you can change. The initial date again, I'm putting the default value 58. And you got your membership fee, $99 diamond, $50, 10 for the other ones. And then these two you can't change, but they're automatically calculated. You got your average daily. Um, this is kind of a, a guess. This is like 1.5 is like what a lot of people are getting. Every day, 1.5% percent repurchase uh, percentage payout percentage. So that gets put in the payout manager on the suggested RPP percentage here, down the line, and then also in this here, down the line. Um, so if you change it to 1.4 or something, you go back to payout manager. It changes here and changes here, and then these get changed too. But I'll show you when they get changed out on other other ways too. So um, 1.5 is a good starting point. So here's your initial VIP point bid repurchase preference. So 100% usually is what people do because it'll automatically buy bids every day uh, based on the number of cash rewards you get. Um, so 100% is a good starting point. And then these three are when you want to start start the calculator to change this 100% to a different value, which is this value, 80%. So one of these will change change it in the payout manager here to 80%. This value here is 100%, 100%. You go down, it'll finally change to 100% based on one of those three values in here. So you, got the either, you can either start on a certain day that you want to change it to 80% or on a certain level of VIP points or if you want to start making a certain amount of money daily you put that in here and it'll change it in the payout manager based on one of them so if if you have $140 in here you go to payout manager you go down the line to $140 a day which is this column here it'll change it automatically 80% down the line from 100% your initial. Um, so that's the that's the Zeke Rewards. That's what they suggest is $140 a day, um, or at approximately 50,000 VIP points, you'll start making $140 a day if you take it out at 8%. So you can also make a change. So I'm gonna put in a high value here. So when you want to change one of these values, you have to put in a high value in the other two. Otherwise, it'll still if you still keep it at 140 and you put this at you know at 99,000 it'll still change it at 140 because 
because this makes a change before this. So just put this at a high value. I should, um, and then put this at a late date, and then put this at what you want it at, or put this date, put this at a high value, and put this date at, say you want to do it in a month. Start taking it out in three months, so 8, 8, 2012. If you want to start taking out money at 80% at or 20% money cash out, you put this at that date, and then you go and hit Payout Manager, and then you, you find the date, 8, 8, 2012. It'll change it to 80% down the line, and you'll start making... Hundred fourteen dollars, and then your ten thousand ten thousand VIP points retires. So then you got one hundred fourteen dollars one day, and then eighty five dollars the next, just because your VIP points aren't there anymore because they they retired. So that's why it changed so rapidly from one to another value, and then it stays the same again down the line. But so that's. That's you know that's your date change and then if you change your VIP point to say thirty three thousand, it'll automatically change at when you get to thirty three thousand VIP points. It changes to eighty percent down the line, make a hundred ten hundred dollars a day and up, and then this is your running total here. So you make you got made a hundred, two hundred, three hundred. In a month, you'll make five thousand, etc. So, um, those are your three variables. Make sure the other, the one you change, is happening before the other two variables. So, just change it to a late, a late date. If you want to change it to a certain amount a day or amounts daily, or your VIP point, just change the other two to a high value, and you won't have any problems. That's and then change this to wherever you want. So say you want to go do the Zeke Rewards thing and you want to make $140 a day, make this high value again and make this a high value again. So $140 a day, make sure that's doing that in your payout manager. So 8%. So something went wrong here. So you go back to details. 10,000, so that's wrong there. So you want to put that at 100,000. And then it'll just do that. So 100% starting, 5.9. Down the line to 80%, making $140. So that's correct. So now go back to your details. Don't change this value. Um, just leave it at yes because most people will repurchase their bids automatically. So here you got two things you can change to kind of show you what you're going to make in these number of days. So in a year, 365 days, you'll make 40,000, or you'll have cash, 40,000 available to withdraw. And then you gotta minus your, your purchased, all your purchases, so that's about $30,000. But um, And then in, in two years, you'll have 162,000 based on all the value 80% at $140 a day. So you can change these, so six months down the line, or a year, and you'll make five thousand, have five thousand ready to cash out in six months, based on these values. So that's the that's the whole point of this thing, just to see what you're gonna make in the future in the future, based on if you change it to a certain percentage, or if you want to start making a certain amount of money a day, or if you want to start making pull it out at a certain time, at whatever percentage. Um, so you can play with all these values and kind of see what you can make. Um, so say, say you want to change, say it's only, you only think it's going to do 1.4% a day, you change that, and then 180 days you won't have any money because, um, you won't be making $140 a day in, in six months, so you'll have to pay out management, sorry about that, pay out manager, see you won't have $140 yet, so you go down the line, and in on November, 80%, $140 a day. Here's your running total. See it changed based on that. Just that 1.4%. It makes you make no money here, and then in a year, 26,000. So you have to kind of play with all the numbers. Uh, I put it back to 1.5%, and then you make 
this will change back to whatever 